Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Ferrari going electric. Now, for most of you that don't know, Ferrari has been doing plans. Before I get started with the topic, hit that subscribe button down below. Yeah, hit that subscribe button down below. Helps out the channel a lot. And I just want to say thank you for 90 subscribers at the time of recording. So back to the main topic. So I'm going to go over the plans that Ferrari is wanting to do over the next few years to go electric and even you know making possibly SUVs as well. So first, the current only Ferrari that's basically electric or hybrid is the SF90 Straddle, which is the video I'm playing here because that's probably the only video that's actually a Ferrari that's electric. But otherwise, um, they do plan to have at least 60% of their um, product line to be electric by 2022, which is next year. So by next year, 6% of their cars will be hybrids or electric. And they do plan to do it, I think by 2025, to have it where it's fully electric. Obviously that's about three years or four years, depending on when they do it, from now. So it will be quite interesting to see for of electric cars. Also, they have the concept cars like Lamborghini, for example, they had the concept car of the Terza Millennium. I'm not sure if I said it correctly, but they did have the Cyan, which is their more hybrid of a production car. Well, it's not really production, but it is a test vehicle for hybrids. Same with Ferrari, they have the SF90 Straddle, which is basically a test wolf hybrid wolf the car and it actually does really good with performance i think the zero to 60 is about 2.7 seconds which is very fast comparing it to i think the tesla roadster which i think is the current car to try beat where it has zero to 60 just in 1.9 or 1.8 seconds which i'll say is very impressive obviously there's um Rimac, which is almost done perfecting their car because for most of that I know Rimac has been working on the car for years. Um, Richard Hammond actually crashed the one, which is why it was hospitalized not too long ago. But it's very interesting to see how Ferrari is taking the approach of electric car in their whole range and explaining the future of Ferrari. And like I said at the beginning, they are planning to do an SUV. They have turned down the thought of even making a Ferrari that's an SUV for a long time, but now they're actually deciding to probably make an SUV because that's more of what people want to get these days. Look at Lamborghini. They made the Lamborghini Urus, which is an SUV. S. Martin made the DBX. Um, there's more brands, I'm not really sure, I don't have them in my head right now. But it's quite interesting now Ferrari is taking the approach of electric. And I'm really interested to see what happens. Because they do have nice cars, um, obviously prices, obviously a different story. But we'll have to see by next year, because if they are planning to have 6% of the production line being hybrid or electric for the vehicles, and there will probably be a few Ferraris coming out this year or next year that are hybrid or fully electric. But otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Um, hit the like button down below, helps out the channel a lot. Hit that subscribe button down below, hit that bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video. And yeah, it's just comment down below what you want to see next. I do plan to do more videos. Next week, I might do a bit of a test of my videos, try to do four uploads for next week. If it does well, then I'll carry on, but it'll just be next week maybe, or I might not even do it. But hope you guys enjoyed, see you guys next video, and I hope you all have a great day, bye.